I love how it's fucking raining and it's sunny as shit out. Love it. How do you guys do all those effects with your snaps? And don't give me no bullshit answers. I expect real ones. So wouldn't you know you have to open the app up from the updates to actually know what the fuck they did and what to do and how to do it. Fuck they did and what to do and how to do it. Bitch, look at you over there. Why aren't you here? Look where I am. I'm in the fucking woman cave, okay? You could be here too. We could be fucking making fun of you. And one more thing, hang your fucking shit up. Don't be, don't be a slob, okay? Hang it up when you're done with it, okay? You wash it, you hang it. You wash it, you hang it. You wear it. What? You ever have those days where you just, no angle is a good angle. Maybe, like, do you question, am I just ugly? <laughs> so. And nor do any of the fucking filters do your face any justice. It's like, <sighs> I give up. Like, I really want to snap because I, I think I'm going through a midlife crisis and I need you all to be there. I just took a deep breath. I'm just very upset because my birthday's coming up and I don't like that time of year because I'm getting old. It's scary. I am quite flustered today. I'm gonna have to do it in this view so it's not so close up. I'm having a day. So yes, I am having a fucking crisis, a midlife crisis. I'm in the middle of my life, yes. It's bad. So this might be one of the times where I actually wish that a spider would intrude in on my woman cape so I could maybe forget for a minute that I'm getting old. It really sucks to get old. Yes, I was very scared when I was turning 27, but that was the best year of my life. You only get one year where you're really scared and then it's the best year of your life. That's it, okay? And then once you hit 30, you're fucked. You're fucked. That's it. So yeah, that's all you're allotted for when you fucking are getting older. You can't fucking say that every year is the fucking best year of your life after you were just scared to turn it. No. But me, I only fucking was scared, really scared, one year. And then it was the best. And then, after that, I was right. <laughs> it's scary. Because if you cry about it every year that you're scared and then it ends up being the best year of your life for like five years, it's like you're crying wolf. You're like that drunk bitch that says, oh, I'm not going to drink tonight, but ends up fucking everybody. I can guarantee that half of you have no clue what I'm fucking talking about, but you have to like, it's really, you have to get in depth with it, like further than you guys would normally go. I'm just an analyzer, and when, even when I'm not stoned, I analyze everything. So when I'm really stoned, like I am now, I overanalyze everything, and it's just like, I get in LOL. I'm only stoned when, at night, <laughs> when you guys fucking are the only ones that see me stoned. Because I'm by myself. Boo-boo. So hopefully that broke it down a little bit so you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. So everybody likes to say that I'm out there when really no, I just think really deeply and not many people think these days so no one really underst understands what I'm saying. It's like I'm not making any sense but really I'm making a lot of sense. I'm just getting really deep into the subject. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm emo, you know, I'm in touch with my feelings a lot, a lot. No one has feelings these days, so, so when I think about things, I take it to a really inner level, and if you don't think like that, then you can't understand what I'm saying. When it comes to feelings and thinking, I'm like that really huge computer nerd. That's me, in the thinking nerdness, I don't know. So like I'm sincerely having this issue with the way I look and I'm very scared to get old. That's the fucking main thing here. So welcome to my insecurity box. I hope you're excited to be here. 
See, now this is about right. I am now more afraid of a spider than I am of getting old. Right now, right now. It's because I fucking cried about it to you guys. Moral of this story is don't be afraid to cry and express yourself. Moral on top of that story's moral is who gives a fuck what people think? Who gives a fuck? No one really knows what that is like because everybody does care. And that sucks. I'm sorry. And I deeply find it sad that people give a fuck what other fucktards think of them. So that also means that they alter almost everything about them every single day of the fucking year. That's how they live. Not imagine not being me. Bitching at whatever I want to fucking bitch about on my fucking social medias. Not being able to go on my rants that I go on where you all think I'm crazy but you just don't know me but you just judge me because you're all fucktards. Like, I don't give a fuck. Obviously. Remember the other day I had a snap about how saying blow my brains out is the answer to everything? If I could not be myself, I would definitely blow my brains out. How do you I'm sure you all are like, dude, what the fuck? What happened? Who pissed her off? No one pissed me off. It's just, I actually thought about it and um, it pisses me off because people are dumb. Because really, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Nobody. So enjoy me or get the fuck out of here. I mean, this isn't shit that I wouldn't say to somebody, because I totally would. I've never gotten in a fight. I'm just, I, I'm more of a reasoning type person. So basically, it's the problem with people these days, because they're too fucking stuck up and pompous. They need to get their fucking heads out of their asses and realize their shit stinks. There's nothing wrong with being proud, but when you believe people are below you, you're too proud, and you need to fucking check yourself. And when you're too proud, that means that you are a douchebag. And no one really, probably no one really likes you. And they just talk shit. But yes, they, they still party with you. They talk shit, but they still party with you. Oh, you know, you're all fucking douchebags. Get real. I really do actually wish that I could say that to somebody. But I'm not a dick to that certain. I would be like, kind of like, you know, listen, dude, you're douche. I know, I'm sorry guys. Sometimes you just can't follow me. I, I talked about a lot of stuff today and I talked a lot of shit, but it's real. It's real life, true life. It's happening. I'm not sorry, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry you are living a Bruce Jenner problem before he was Caitlyn. See how happy he is now because he's out, he doesn't give a fuck. Let Bruce Jenner be your motivation for not giving a fuck what people think. <laughs> and if you want to be a girl, go ahead. Okay, if you're a dude, just be you. Be yourself, be yourself. If you're a douchebag, go over there. But just be yourself. But over there. <laughs> Still. Is you bad about it? Yeah, I'm bad about it. My song. What jam? I'm bad about it. I want to give uh, Bruce Jenner a uh, thank you for being such a good sport on my show tonight. He wasn't there, but you know. Awkwardness? No. Nah. Mm -mm. Just keeping it real, yo. I fucking. And you wash your hair. It's a good song. Word.
really, I'm going to go to bed. Um... of you up to seize your day because it's the fucking next day. Have a great night and day. Sorry, I think I said something. I'm going to go eat a lot of food and then go to bed. Because I have work tomorrow, today, whatever. Fuck it. Work today. Sometimes it's really hard for me to end my Snapchats because it's like on the phone. Like I always wait for the person to hang up or say bye first. But there's no one to, you know, Oh, I'm just gonna do this before the spiders come for me. So, uh, have a wonderful night!